Hey, what's going on everybody? Mano back here for another Solo Ascendant Challenge video guide. This week we're going to be knocking out the Ascendant Challenge named Ouroboree. As always, the timestamps located on screen and in the description box below will take you to the entrance or the egg locations or the bones. We're going to be heading over to Aphelion's Rest, which is in the Strand, but make sure you pick up your Ascendant Challenge bounty from Petrovenge in Rhea Sylvia, then follow the path I just showed on screen to the Lost Sector, and you're going to be in good shape. We're going to go ahead and take our sparrow run over to this area. I do need to say a big massive thank you to all of you folks who've been supporting the channel and supporting all of these videos. I have had some people who say, Mano, you've already made videos for all the Ascendant Challenges. Why do you keep updating them and doing things like that? Well, part of it is because I try to read the comment sections and adjust my video commentary or adjust videos in general to what people need or ask for. So I try and add a little bit more definition and really try and perfect these Ascendant Challenges and all the little things that go into it. For some people, it's actually kind of a challenge. For some people, it's very easy to do. For me, I find that these are relatively easy to do, and I like to share my knowledge with the community. So that is something uh, and the reason why I continue to make these videos. Anyway, we are back over here in the uh, Felion's Rest Lost Sector. We're about to hop in on our Sparrow. I wanted to make sure I just share that knowledge with you so I can answer a couple of questions ahead of time. I'm going to hop off my Sparrow, and I need to use a very important item in my inventory called a tincture of queen's foil this item allows you to see things inside the dreaming city uh, secret items and secret locations including the ascendant challenge you will not be able to see the portal if you do not have ascendance equipped you can see it on the left hand side of my screen there is a thing that's blinking ascendance that lets you know that you are going to be able to see the ascendant challenge location now i've had some people say that they can't see it if you can't see it try leaving the location going back and trying it again or try going in solo sometimes fire teams have issues with that as well okay right above there to the right hand side is the entrance to the uh, ascended challenge you will come into Ouroboree and you will see a bunch of crystals with shields as well as a statue and some knights are gonna spawn in this ascended challenge is a run and gun with some light platform uh, forming ascendant challenge basically what you need to do is you need to go around, destroy all the blights that are located outside of the inner circle area. There's some circular areas on the right hand side. It's not a perfect circle, but you basically need to destroy these blights as quickly as you can and then move to the center. What will happen is as soon as all the blights are dead and destroyed, the shields that are on the crystals will break. You will have an opportunity to destroy them and then you will be able to complete the ascended challenge. This is not a full perfect circle, however. There are lots of little places where you can die if you miss your jump. So you want to make sure that whenever you're doing any jumping or anything else like that, you want to make sure that you are watching where you're jumping to or where you're jumping over to make sure that you don't jump in a hole somewhere. Now, Thrall and the Knights are going to be chasing you throughout this. So again, make sure you look where you leap. You need to make sure that you are always trying to keep an eye on your radar and you want to have a high burst weapon. Now, this is a slightly older video. Um, you'll see that the Ikolo shotgun is moving a little bit faster than it currently does, but it still does massive amounts of damage. Some other items that would be good or are any kind of a submachine gun or Thunderlord would be really good. I'm going to use my shotgun for this. Um, I know that Hawthorne's Field Forward Shotgun is another good option for those people who are looking for something that is quick burst damage to kill these early blights here. You can see that as soon as I kill that blight, a bunch of Thrall are going to come and try and kill me. I make sure that I knock them out real quick and stay on the move. Now, you'll see knights appear. If you see knights appear, just try and jump over them. Again, make sure you look uh, before you leap. Make sure you don't try and go too far too fast. Always know that you have an exit or an escape point in many different places on this map. It may be a broken out circle uh, on the outside and the inside, but usually you can jump to a different platform. Funny enough, this is uh, the name for this Ascendant Challenge is based off the word Ouroboros, which is a circular snake-like creature that eats its own tail. So it's a circle. That's where it gets its name. So kind of cool there. All right, as soon as you kill the final blight, there's going to be a text chat that says seal breaks an opportunity. As soon as you see the words an opportunity, 
you will see that the shields are down on the crystals and you can do some damage to them. I'm currently using my Blade Barrage Hunter, and if you want, you can actually get on top of the center crystal if your jump is high enough, and you can actually sit there and not get damage from the knights, but I'm gonna play it a little bit more uh, aggressively and a little bit more on the move because not everyone has time or the ability to hop on all the crystals and basically cheese this encounter. What you wanna do is make sure that you continue to move and not throw your grenade like I just did. You wanna to continue to move and make sure that you use any kind of a high burst damage weapons and never stay on the ground. The reason you don't wanna stay on the ground is if the knights slam you with your ax, with their ax, you can die very, very quickly. As soon as you kill all of the knights, you will be completed with the Ascendant Challenge. However, you do need to pick up the chest. If you do not pick up the chest, the Ascendant Challenge bounty will not complete. You do not have to collect any of the eggs or the bones that I'm going to show you on screen now. That is merely for a Triumph, an Exotic Sparrow, and to get the Curse Breaker title. However, to destroy the eggs, you must have the Wish Ender Bow, which can be earned from completing the uh, Shattered Throne mini quests. And so first of all, we're gonna go ahead and show you the first egg location from the portal. Take a hard left and what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here you're gonna see some steps that are kind of up into the right and they're kind of broken out go and look over the edge there and you will find the first egg knock that out and you'll be in good shape again using the portal as a reference we're gonna instead of going to the left we're gonna turn back into the right to this sandy kind of area here there will be a dead tree to your left look at that as a reference turn a little bit to the right and you will see an egg off in the distance from that edge that is the second egg location next up is the third egg again I'll use the portal as a reference go back you're gonna head back into the right but this time instead of going back onto the sandy beach right next to the the tree there is going to be a path that you are going to follow instead of falling around the curve there's going to be a gazebo here you're going to jump to that gazebo follow around on the right hand side the egg is going to be a little bit more hidden behind some shattered gazebo like uh, little columns right here behind those columns you will see the third egg location knock that out and you will be in good shape those are the three eggs next up we need to show you where the bones are again from the portal we're going to use that as a reference we're going to go kind of where the first uh, egg was we're going to head over to our left hand side over to that area where there are some steps that look like they are broken out and up uh, going up into the right a little bit as soon as you get to that area right there, you can see the steps that I shot right there. We're gonna, instead of looking and shooting the egg there, you can see that I use that egg as a reference. We're gonna hop up here onto that column. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get on top of the roof of this little uh, platform area here. We're gonna go ahead and hop up. If you are having issues platforming on this section, I do recommend changing to a sword if needs be. You do not actually have to use the sword as a way to get across, but it will show you third person sh uh, jumping a little bit easier. Jump to this statue right there and off to the next statue on the head of that statue is going to be the lore bones that you can pick up and inspect right there. You will be in good shape and that is everything that you need for this Ascended Challenge, including the optional bones and lore location. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video if you did like something a positive rating would be greatly appreciated hit that subscribe button for more destiny 2 content and hopefully uh you check me out on twitch.tv slash manoduster 777 i do lots of varying stuff whether it's pve pvp nightfalls uh the shattered throne raids other things like that so make sure you check me out there thank you all so much for watching good hunting and i'll see you next time in the universe of destiny